you're a vampire or a bloodsucker and you found yourself in Silverlight Hills and you ran to this witchy poo named Marwin and you found yourself in trouble, then I got a video for you. So first and foremost, you always want a ton of us for good measure and you know, that's just realistically how you start fighting. And for the first boss move, she basically has this fire that goes in a spiral shape and it swerves throughout the field and what I learned is if you're up close, you're going to find yourself in some serious trouble unless you pop out your spell shield. So you're actually better off staying farther back in this fight. Now this next part, you basically just want to dodge these lightning balls, and they're very hard to, and I kind of found it's just better to go in a box-like shape to actually dodge them. For this next part, she's going to be shooting a lot like frost-like bolts at you, and basically this is a prime example why you want to stay far back, because if you're up close, it's very hard to dodge these. As you see, I just took two hits right there, and it slows me down, so it's just better to kind of sit back, either me medium range or far range in this fight, just so you could easily step side to side and dodge the attacks. The abilities I'm rocking is I'm using the Sanguine Coil and the Chaos Barrier and the Chaos Barrage. And the reason why I'm rocking those is the Sanguine Coil just keeps healing me up and then the Chaos Barrier protects me whenever I think I'm going to be taking heavy damage. And trust me, when you use that and it hits her, she just takes a ton of damage from it. So successful blocks is very nice in this fight. As you see, she summons in a second Witchy Poo. In the second Witchy Poo, you just kind of want to drop her as fast as you can because basically she's just casting the same kind of spells at you and you, you have double the chances of taking damage. And her life drops a lot faster. And the sooner you drop her, the less poos you have for your bat. And I'd like to rock with the Reaper weapon over the crossbow in this fight. And the reason is, is the crossbow, I have to pause more often. And so I just found myself getting a little more trouble than the Reaper. Because I could just be more mobile. There when the Elementalist, her final move is she summons this giant fireball. And you basically just kind of want to run as far away as you can. But not out of the boss arena, of course, because that will reset the fight. But as you see, I just dodge. And I'm just trying to stay as far as away as I can from the boss because when it gets close, it'll get faster and it just kind of just shoots fireballs at you and stuff like that. But if it's close, it's very likely to hit you. So you kind of just want to uh, evade it until it disappears. And once it disappears, this fight just also becomes a lot easier. Uh, she summons one more of her, but as soon as you drop that one, you can pretty much KO the fight. And if you found this boss guide helpful or useful, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate it. Now just a few more attacks and dodges, and we got this fight. Tonight, we're gonna dine. Which play? Why is it so dark? Because it's nighttime. <laughs> Stay awesome. Have a good one.